11 consecutive national titles, 202 consecutive match victories. Everybody talks about streaks and pressure and all of that. What? If, what? This is our moment. We've waited 51 weeks for this. Let's show them what it feels like to play a champion. Under Coach Paul Asiante, Connecticut's Trinity College has produced the longest winning streak in the history of intercollegiate sports in the game of squash. The game of squash begins with a serve. This is the service line, and when serving, the ball must hit above the line. This is the tee, for obvious reasons. This is the line of scrimmage. Whoever controls the line of scrimmage will dominate play. In playing the game of squash, the first one to win nine points wins the game, and the first one to win three games wins the match. Any questions? Asiante was a second-year coach at Trinity in 1996 when he met with then-president Evan Dobell. The president at the time called me into his office and he said, you know, what do we need to do to become more competitive on that playing field? And I said, well, you know, the best squash in the world is not being played in the United States. And he said, great, go out and find the best and the brightest. And so, Asiante began recruiting overseas. Basa Chaudhary, Lahore, Pakistan. Gustav Deller, Malmo, Sweden. Manik Mathur, Mumbai, India. Because Trinity has more latitude than their Ivy League competitors in terms of entrance requirements and offering financial aid, the school has a distinct advantage. We all have different rules on how we recruit, so um, you know, we all live within the confines of our rules, and they happen to be lucky that they can attract those sort of players. One, two, three, go! Everybody was jealous. I mean, everyone was thinking, like, wow, we would love to, uh, we would love to be as successful in terms of recruiting the international players that uh, the Trinity has been. If Trinity College is beating Harvard, you have to be cheating. How can that be? Um, so we heard that, um, but we weren't. Trinity's diversity, its greatest strength, has also left players the target of taunts. Some of the things we hear are, are just horrifying. We were recently at a match, and someone yelled at one of the boys from India to you know, go back to your country and bomb Pakistan. Without sounding arrogant, that's all they have to get after us. But um, we don't really mind it. We just laugh and keep playing. The closest Trinity's win streak came to ending was February 1st, 2006, against Princeton. Through eight matches, the teams were tied at four. In the ninth and deciding pairing, Trinity sent out a freshman named Gustav Detter. Princeton countered with senior Yasser El Halabi, the reigning three-time national singles champion. Our number one, who was uh, ultimately probably recognized as the greatest player in the history of college squash. We started off the, and he won the first two games. Like, most of the players in my team were pretty much, uh, they felt that this was pretty much over. He's down too low. I mean, this match is over. If I had a white towel, I would have thrown it in there. Yasser gets to 8-6 in the third game. Match point. But Detter rallied. And pulled off the unfathomable upset, winning in five games. Here it is. Yeah. Yeah. It was the craziest thing I've ever been a, a part of, and it was impossible. 76 players from 15 countries have contributed to Trinity's unprecedented streak. You can see it in their eyes. They're excited. You know what I see in your eyes? They're champions. When we lose, and we will, it won't be because the bar dropped, but because they came up to the bar. That would be a great legacy.